Hi everyone! Um, I'm sorry it's been like so long since I've done a video, it's been, I don't even know, it's been months and so much has happened. I'm going to have to do like a proper update video um, and it's probably just going to be on like a talky one but not this video, this is just a haul. Um, like a, a little haul, it's not a lot of stuff. Um, but I'll probably do like a talking video um, with like all my updates and things because so much has been going on. Not really anything, oh I've got a finger in the lens, um, not really anything with the animals to be honest, like nothing bad or anything, just general like family stuff, um, which has obviously prevented me from doing videos, but that's really boring and I'm sure nobody actually wants to know. So, um, I went to, um, where did I go, the country store with um, Sophia, um, personal bunnies, uh, yesterday, no. Friday, um, which was a really bad idea because I spent far too much money and now, yeah, <laughs> just too much. She's such a bad influence on me. Um, so from the country store, um, I bought this, which it says on there, it's a chinchilla toy um, by Happy Pet, and it was two ninety nine. But I'm pretty sure that. Personal Bunny's most recent video featured the rope and the two ball, the two wooden bricks, and she said that they'd eaten this. So I assume it's safe for rabbits anyway. Never mind. Um, I also bought these, which are really dusty. That's disgusting. They'll need a good wash. Which I just thought are so cute, and they they match the um, place mats that Purcell, whoa, Purcell Bunny's got. And I was going to get the place mats to go with each one, but. Um, when I tell you what these are for, um, the placemats, I don't think they'd have been any good. I think they'd have got chewed because it's not for the rabbits. So, um, And these are 2 99 each. Um, pink for the girls, blue for the boys. And obviously, if you haven't already guessed, these are for the guinea pigs. And I've got a massive update. If you haven't already seen it on Facebook, um, I've got a big update about the guinea pigs. So many adverts. Um, what else did I get from Country Store? Oh, just the um, the natural play ball by Nature First, or by Happy Pet. Um, that was only one ninety nine. So they, that was for the rat. There for the rabbits, um, and just the balls for the guinea pigs. Then we went to um, feed them, and I got the Chill and Chew mat by Naturals, which is two pound forty nine, um, which I think is pretty good actually, because I think I paid more for it when I got it off the internet. Um, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I think I got it off Amazon um, last time, so I suppose that probably wasn't like the cheapest place. Um, and I just got another food ball, which was two pound five. Um, what are you doing? Um, because the guinea pigs, I'm a bit obsessed at the moment with. Um, they all have to have the same things, and the girls have got a food ball, and the boys have got a hair rack. And they don't match. So, this is for the boys. So they're going to have a food ball. Only problem is, it doesn't have a bell on the bottom and the other one does and it's nice because it makes a nice little noise. But that's just being picky. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I just need a, um, a hair rack for the girls and then I'm all sorted, symmetrical. And I'll show you in a minute what for. Um, and then I've just got the friendly ready grass, which looks funny this time. It's like you can't really see. It's like really um not not really dusty, but just really bitty. I don't know. It's just not as it doesn't look as nice as the last bag, but it looks fuller than the last bag, which is weird. Um, I don't know how much that was to be honest. Um. No, I think it was like three pound something, three twenty five or something like that. It was no more than four pounds. I know that. Um, so yeah, so I, that lasts me ages. Like the last bag that I showed in a haul, which was probably my well, I can't even remember. It was absolutely ages ago. That was like the first bag I'd ever bought of ready grass, and it's I've still got like some in the bottom, like about this much in the bottom. I very rarely give them it because they go out on the grass anyway. 
but especially when it's like rain like it is today it's really bad weather and things and I just think at least it's a bit like something else to sprinkle in there like for them to like forage through and things and then I got you're not gonna be able to see these very well because it's full of leaves but I got another litter tray um the big quite a big blue one well like it's normal cat litter tray size but the guinea pigs have like mini ones um because I was obsessed with the fact that they won't be able to get in and out even though that was completely ridiculous and they can um but it's just easier because well it's a bit cozier and I can fill it with more hair whereas the little ones are so sh like so shallow I can't like completely fill it with hair and because in the bed bit of the hutch this is all I've got there's no like here on the floor it's just what's in here they do snuggle up in here and I like to give them like a big thing to like hide in um, and they've got one big one I think in the bed bit each so yeah and the theme is blue for boys obviously blue blue and pink for girls um, but I don't quite understand how that one was £3.25 and this one under all these leaves somewhere was £2.85 which is they're exactly the same like I don't understand so I put that one inside that one I think I got both for two eighty five each so that wasn't bad um, and oh yeah my leaves yeah I went for a walk with the dogs today um, when it was absolutely pouring down and I had a really bad hangover because I went out last night but um, I've stopped feeding them veg really. Like they get a tiny, a tiny bit of spring greens, the rabbits, um, and a tiny bit of kale when I have it, and the odd like bit of carrot as a treat. But Max, I presume it's Max, but I don't know 100%. Was actually like having a lot of like squidgy poos and things, um, and I couldn't really put my finger on which one it was. I just I assumed it was Max because they were quite big, and obviously he's like the biggest one. But I checked all the bums and everything, and there wasn't anything there, so it wasn't like. There was no signs pointing to which one it was, um, but I think it was probably Max. Um, and I don't know, it must have been the veg, because they were getting like a, a plate of veg a day. So I just totally cut it out and just fed them more hay. And they don't really get, they only get like four um, little things of pellets between three rabbits on a tea time now, nothing else. Um, so I thought... I'm going to start foraging again and feed them a more natural diet so that they can still get some like fresh stuff. Um, so I got some plantain. Um, some bramble leaves. Because of all the rain and stuff, the leaves are all like, there were like loads and loads and they're all really big. Like this is dandelion. But it's huge. Um... So yeah, I thought oh, I'm going to start collecting. Also, I'm collecting for um, winter next year as well already because I didn't get organised last year. And like, I missed feeding them the natural stuff. I had to go back onto veg, which is more expensive. Not massively, but it doesn't... I just... I don't know. I'd rather stick to more natural stuff if I can. Um, these are raspberry leaves, I think. But I'm going to have to double check before I feed them. Um... They've got like spikes on them, like a bramble. Can't see them. Um, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to double check that before I uh, give them any. And so, raspberry leaves, bramble leaves, um, dandelions, and just some like quite young hawthorn, because um, I didn't take my clipper things with me. And last time I snapped a big branch off, I got a thorn in my, in my knuckle. And it swelled right up and got infected. And I was like, I moaned about it for weeks. And I thought, I'm not, I've learnt my lesson there. So I just got like some young stuff that's like, not even a twig yet. It's like a, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go back and get some like bigger branches for them to chew on. When I remember to take the stuff. So yeah, and I also got a big sack of Megazorb as well. But obviously not really interesting to show you that. Um. So yeah, so I'm going to do an update on the, like, what's happening and stuff at some point, but don't expect that, like, majorly soon, because getting, like, the time to do it and stuff, I'm, like, quite busy. Um, but I will, after this, I've put this on first, I think, and then after this I'm going to put my update on the guinea pigs. Um, 
so yeah so there's like my next two videos coming up so yeah so i'm sorry it's been so long um and thanks for watching and if anybody's got any like requests for just like simple things like i don't really have time at the moment in the next couple of weeks to do um like the I've filmed the biscuit too, like the bunny biscuit tutorial, but I think Purcell Bunny's put it on, so I'm not going to put it on. Because um, I'd need to edit it and stuff, and to be honest, it was really crap. <laughs> um, but if anyone's got any just normal, like, maybe like tour videos or organisation or anything like quite simple to do, um, then feel free to request things like that, um, and I'll get them done. So, yeah, so thanks for watching. Also, I'm just going to mention a few things that I got at Pets at Home um, the other day that I'd totally forgotten about. Um, it's nothing really exciting, just another couple of the Hamster Times bedtime books, because the rabbits really like those. And um, the boy guinea pigs quite like chewing them to bits as well. And the willow sticks. Um, I only bought those this time because they were quite thick ones, whereas usually they're really thin. So I got those. Um, and a bag of Timothy feed in here and I know I use um, farm hair which obviously um, what am I going on about? Half asleep. I use farm hair um, which I get from working at my horse and it's cheaper for me um, to do it in a big bale but the guinea pigs don't really eat a lot of it they don't eat enough of it but they do eat where is it? I don't know mess um, the Pets at home, um, you know the home of carrot and apple like in it? It's like really finely chopped hair, not like the coarser stuff. And they eat a lot of that, like they eat a whole rack of that in like half a day. I fill the rack up twice a day now and it's gone. So they're eating a lot more, so I think even though it's a bit more expensive and I'm going to have to go out of my way to Pets at home or to like the pet shops to buy like a bit fancier hair for the guinea pigs. If they eat it then it's definitely worth it. So yeah, so I've got that for them, and then the whoop, alfalfa king, Timothy here, for the rabbits and guinea pigs to share, because the guinea pigs love that. Um, and I've got another apple and biscuit diary for the rabbits, because they really like that. And a dandelion and blossom millet. Now, do you know what? Funnily enough. I've got these somewhere already, and I've just remembered. <laughs> but um, the, the guinea pigs might have those. The rabbits have had them before. Um, I got two knobbly nose, pink and a blue one. Um, I'll show you those later, though, in a different video. Um, people have mixed feelings about the pets at home guinea pig fruit sticks. Um, but mine have been having these for for ages, and yeah, they're not healthy, but they don't have them all the time. And they last quite a while, like they don't eat them in one day. And there's two pigs to each stick. So it's not like a stick for for each pig. Um so yeah, um some people don't like feeding them, I don't mind for a treat, so each to their own. And then I got the Johnson's Insecticidal Shampoo. Just um smells quite nice. Because the only other shampoo I've got it's not really great, it's like I don't know, it's, it doesn't smell very nice anyway. Um, but this, because it kills mites, lice and fleas on rabbits and guinea pigs, I just thought, well, that's a welcome thing to have because you don't want them, do you? So I thought I'd try that. And then the willow twist ball, which the rabbits have had and killed. And then I got two edible log hideaways, which I'll show you later on. And the sunshine munch which they've never had before, but this is for the guinea pigs, because the rabbits have got loads of treats, and the guinea pigs don't really have, like, treats just for them, so, um, it says for all small pets, but I'm sure someone said, or I've read somewhere, that rabbits can't have corn, but I could be wrong, so, yeah, somebody let me know, um, yeah, so I got that, um, for the wood, woodlands range, and that was it, so I thought I'd just add that on the end. So yes, thanks for watching.